Welcome to Duo Podcast Empire Profits, the benefits of having a solo and guest featured podcast for business. And this is a mini masterclass and I am Majesty Ali Nicole Wow, and I'm excited to bring this mini masterclass uh, to you today. Make sure that you do have note-taking material so that you can jot down uh, some of the wisdom and insights that I'm going to be sharing as it relates to this topic. Of course, you'll have the opportunity to go back over and listen to um, this several times, but it is good when you can take a few notes and start to do some some brainstorming and kind of master planning. And if you have some ahas um, that come to you during this time. So I'm excited to, to share this with you. Um, just initially, I'd like to just share that I have a, a vast uh, background as it relates to the podcasting industry over a decade. And even prior uh, to podcasting and this experience, I do have a background um, in radio and television broadcasting and formal training formal education um, in that area, and also um, media communications and journalism. And so I've been in the digital space um, for over a decade and being able to help others um, build their media empires and leadership empires and writing empires and being able to use um, the podcasting vehicle of what I really um, teach is brand casting and production entrepreneurship, being able to use this as a primary um, chief focus to move um, your brand and message out in the world. But I want to start talking with you today about really building a duo podcast empire. And I have a vast uh, background in being able to have a cross-branded experience with multiple podcasts on different levels. Um, and I know the importance of being able to um, demonstrate what you do on multiple levels. Now, let me just start off by talking about um, why it's important for a business owner, an entrepreneur to have a dual podcast and, and what is the dual podcast um, that I'm going to be talking about this type of format. Well, when you are a solo brand or solo business um, owner and you have a podcast and many of you do and you're featuring guests on the podcast, a lot of times what happens is that the featuring of the guest sometimes can overshadow the brand that actually is the host. And in my work uh, with others over the years, um, as it relates to radio revenue uh, empire building, um, I found that a lot of successful podcasters were running into that problem where they were getting popular, so to speak, and everybody wanted to be on their show. And, you know, they were getting great ratings and numbers growing, popularity, all of that. But they found for their own business that sometimes um, it was not working out the way that they intended, you know, for it to work out when they wanted it to be really a dual focus where them interviewing others would also be positioning them as authorities. And don't get me wrong, that does happen. People do recognize the host and, and also the guest. Uh, they recognize them both for who they are. But from a business perspective, sometimes when there is just the focus on a guest-related uh, podcast, it normally is a slow start to profitability for um, the host who is in business and would like to leverage their podcast, you know, for business. So there's multiple ways that you can do this. So a format that I've been teaching over the years is in terms of the dual podcast, you know, empire building, where as a solo brand, you can um, do multiple things. You can have a podcast where you are featuring uh, segments that are just you and then also having guests uh, at certain times. Or you could also have a separate platform that's a podcast platform and then also have one where you are interviewing guests. And this doesn't have to really create more work, so to speak. It's just that there are different ways that you can position um, how you're doing this. So let me just talk about this a little bit more. So let's say that you are um, a business owner, entrepreneur, and your podcast is focused on 
guest. And that's how you started. And that's pretty much how you've been doing it. And you do what you can to demonstrate your expertise um, as you are collaborating, conversating you know, with, you know, with the guest. Um, so if you started off that way and you don't have a platform that you're doing by yourself, that's okay. Because what you can do is then create a platform um, that's separate. And I'm going to talk about a few platforms that you could use to maybe just do a podcast series um, and you just upload a few episodes every quarter or so. And then you use those episodes, um, those segments as kind of evergreen marketing, or you use them to position for um, your speaking initiatives. All right. So there's ways that you you can do that. And it's important that I share um, with you just the different ways that you can expand is because expanded awareness is key. But of course, awareness alone isn't enough. Right. So I don't want individuals to think, oh, no, I don't want to create another podcast that I have to be showing up on, you know, consistently. You don't have to do that. But you could because you could actually do some pre-records um, of particular segments and you have to think like a professor at a university, plan out your syllabus, so to speak, and decide, here's what I'm going to focus on this season and I'm going to create some podcasts um, episodes around this and then maybe upload one a week or have them pre-scheduled. So there's ways to do this and, and to showcase yourself and your authority, have your standalone platform, so to speak, and then still have your regular guest uh, platform. Because honestly, that particular um, format typically takes more work because you have to incorporate other individuals. And I'm certainly not saying to stop it um, because there's benefits to having um, both a solo and a guest featured, you know, podcast for your business. Now I'm going to share a little bit of, you know, my own experience with this over the years, because I've got multi levels of this where I've had different platforms with just uh, my podcasting and some of those were seasonal and I did them during um, virtual media tours um, or I would come and just upload certain episodes and that platform states it that three to five segments are uploaded um, every so often you know there would be a specific you know for it um, but then I had my platforms where it was guest but mainly most of my platforms were it was a dual podcast where there were segments that it's just me on that same platform. And then I had another segment that was for guests, right? I ran a network at one point where seven days a week, um, there was, you know, podcasting and it was different shows for that one podcast. And so some of those features, again, were just me. And then in some of those segments, I would have guests to join me. Um, but it was a very, you know, um, conversational collaborative type of uh, experience, but it worked extremely well for my business because there was the balance of what I was intentional about. And then also the value that I wanted my audience and others to receive from different levels of experts. Okay. So there's a variety of ways that, you know, that you can do this. So I want to talk about a few platforms um, that I've leveraged throughout the years and that you can also um, consider as it relates to being able to have the duality in terms of building a podcast empire. But, you know, before I actually start talking about those, let me spend a little bit more time in terms of talking about the benefits. So why have a solo and guest featured podcast um, for your business? Now, I know I've talked about it already, but I kind of want to dial in on what that does in terms of the multi-level layeredness that it demonstrates for you as a brand and, and for your business, because it not only just shows you as an authority and give you the opportunity to talk about, you know, your products and to talk about, you know, different um, levels of your services and opportunities, um, but it also gives you the opportunity to be showcased as someone who also has a network um, of other experts. And so 
people can also be able to go to those experts and you can create some type of referral um, type of system, you know. So if someone heard, um, found that guest on your platform and they chose to do business with them, you could set up an opportunity where you can have a referral type of experience or some type of collaboration, you know, because it's marketing for them, of course, but if they learned about that individual via your platform, then you definitely can profit from that. And I have a whole nother course just on that alone in terms of having a paid to play, you know, type of um, podcast, right? So again, the benefits is that it is demonstrating you in different roles. Of course, you're branding uh, a certain way and your business, and then you having the network of individuals, but also how you connect and you articulate and communicate and you interview or have the conversation with others that sets you up for um, powerful opportunities um, to be a speaker or to be a trainer or be invited to do panel um, discussions. So there's a lot of different benefits, you know, to you demonstrating your solo panure aspect and having, you know, guest features um, as well. So a few of the platforms that I have used over the years, when I first started um, in the podcasting industry, like I said, well over a decade ago, um, I was using Blog Talk Radio, and that's still a very great platform uh, to use and, and to leverage. And um, I've used Spreaker, SoundCloud, uh, Podomatic, there are a lot of different, and, and Anchor and Spotify. Um, you know, I love using those platforms and I still, you know, use um, those platforms. But for my um, media tours and when I was doing seasonal podcasts on certain platforms, I used um, Podomatic. So I had two Podomatic um, platforms and it was where I was only uploading certain series every so often. And so that's something that you can consider. So if you want to have a solo platform, if you have a full-fledged guest platform, then you can, as I mentioned, decide that you are like a professor. And this semester, here's what the focus is. And there will be three to five segments on this particular focus. And so again, you can choose to upload all of those at one time um, or space them out, right? But your platform can just say you only do this every so often. You, It's, you know, um, once a quarter. But if you want to do it regularly, then do it once a week. But you can pre-do your content and, like I said, have that scheduled out. So it's not more work for you consistently in your business. You're just creating blocking out a time. And this is something I'm very big for and known for is helping individuals to create their own get it done day intensives, right? Where you block out the time, you pre-plan and then you pre-record and then go ahead and pre-schedule your content. And once you do that pretty much in a weekend, or if you give yourself a week to do that, then you can come away from that and be more attentive to your standard podcast or so that has guests, all right? So again, there's benefits to doing both the solo and the guest feature podcast when you are in business. When you are in business, it's good to do it even for someone who isn't primarily in business, but they are just um, maybe showcasing themselves even as a media authority or wanting to get exposure that way. It's still good to be able to have your own and also to be able to do, um, you know, guest featuring. Now, something that I want to talk about, if you're interested in having um, your platform, using one platform and you're not already doing the solo and the guest, um, one of the formats that uh, I've highly recommended to others and coach them through, especially when they're just starting a podcast, um, is and using the platform Anchor, which is now Anchor or Spotify, um, is the first, um, your first few segments should be you and you setting up three to five segments with it just being you and 
sharing the value, and then allowing yourself to have maybe a guest once a month or twice a month, so to speak. Don't overpopulate it um, out the gate, all right? Um, because you want to build up kind of to that, right? And But you can do it where you can have some episodes of you, of course, and then maybe you do have um, some guests come in even right away, but you just want to make sure that you are leveraging both, all right? But there's ways to break it up. So another format that I've taught and is similar to what I just shared is that maybe your first season of your podcast is you and season two is guest. And then you can alternate or then you can start to combine. You just want to make sure that you are setting up a good foundation for your business and your brand and demonstrating your brand authority before you start really incorporating others into the mix. All right. So again, we're talking about podcasting for business, right? You want to make sure that your products and your services are featured um, during your segments and so that whenever you are focusing on guests, you can focus more on their offerings and opportunities during that time instead of trying to incorporate You've got commercials and little spots here of your stuff in there while you have them on as your guests. You can do that. I'm not saying that that's a wrong format, but I'm just saying that if you focus on your segment being the promotion of your branding and then allowing when their segment is there to be focused on them, it really works good. It's it's really a win-win, all right? So something I want to say is that it's not that there's a really right or wrong way. I just believe that there are better ways to do things. And again, when we're talking about business and profits, um, that makes a difference because you can have the opportunity to set up a profits model as it relates to what you're doing with the podcasting initiative for what you are um, leveraging during your segments. And then how do you also plan to profitize with the um, guests that you bring on. Now, I'm getting into something that I wasn't planning on teaching or talking about during this particular uh, mini masterclass, but I'm going to bring it up anyway. And um, another way that you can actually um, create profits is to create products with some of your guests, maybe not all of them, but create a product um, and you can do this either first or after. So let me go here since I started talking about this. So if you have a guest that wants to talk about a particular um, a particular topic and you are familiar with that, you can do a conversational training type of, of um, product where it is still interview oriented, but it is more conversational. And maybe you all are getting into something more expansive than you would actually in a traditional interview, so to speak. And so when then you create that product and then you actually then feature them on your platform and you can do the standard interview and then also say, and we also have a product, um, you know, version of this and, you know, you all can spend time talking a little bit about that and then also have that as an affiliate link that you create. And I'm going to tell you about a platform that you can use to, um, create that type of experience. All right. So that's just a way I wasn't planning on teaching that, but again, it came up. So, um, the generosity is here to share that. Um, and I will get to the platform. So, yeah, so you can, uh, like I said, create a product with them and be able to, you know, to monetize that product and for both of you, all right, for both of you, and they still can, be able to share about if they have a particular offer opportunity. So it doesn't undercut any of that, but there's just opportunities for you to do that. Now, something else, let's say that you have the interview first and then you come back and create a product with them later because maybe something came up during the conversation and you decided to expound upon that and and you want to share more of your own wisdom around that too and then you create a product and then what can happen is that when you actually do sound bites you can create sound bites from the interview and then also 
let them know that there is a, a product with both of you collaborating that goes into more, you know, around that. And they can find out more about that in the description, you know, or visit wherever you want to send them to. So these are just, like I said, ways that will you have a dual podcast, um, you can monetize this in different ways, all right? So the platform that I'm going to recommend in terms of creating products um, and being able to create affiliate links for those products are using um, the platform Gumroad. And actually, you can take Zoom recordings and be able to upload those as digital products. And one thing I love about Gumroad is that they have the option for three different price points um, that people or payment options where people can pay the price that you put on the product. They also have the option to rent it and they also have the option to pay what they can pay, which can also be more than what you actually put, you know, for the price uh, of it. So that's just a great way for you to start thinking about monetizing um, your podcasting uh, initiative too. And especially if you aren't necessarily charging for guests to be on your show, but that's a whole nother training. That's a whole nother training. So my point with this mini masterclass was just really to um, empower you in terms of the consideration with using the dual podcast empire profitability um, format so that you can bring multi-levels of exposure to um, your business initiatives. And you can have the different roles that you play when you are the host, interviewer, conversational um, authority um, that is, yes, still establishing you, um, but you still need to have something that you're doing where it is just you. And even if that is on just YouTube, and YouTube is something uh, else I wanted to bring up because that's where my full authority in a sense is in a multi-levels, even with YouTube podcasting and in multiple levels of, of that type of brand casting, so to speak. But being able to use um, a platform like YouTube where you can have, even if it's a soundbite type of uh, podcast where you're just sharing the tips and you're doing it through YouTube shorts, 60 seconds or less, and you are podcasting, you are sharing value and then leading people into um, your offers, into your opportunities. So there's different ways you can do that. You can do a two to five minute type of podcast um, and upload that to YouTube. And again, you can do it once a week. You get to decide. But the thing is, is that you want to make sure that you do have the dual, out, the duality aspect here. A podcast that is featuring you and one that is featuring guests. Um, and if you are someone who only has a solo podcast platform and that's all you've been doing, maybe you don't do any interviewing, well, it would be good that maybe monthly you have a guest or maybe you do a podcast series of some type of radio summit where you are featuring guests. And then you can leverage that as evergreen marketing um, as well, right? So we have to change the way that you see podcasting. There's different ways that you can leverage it. Um, sometimes you may do something that's the one-off that consistently pays off. So even if you build a platform where you've only uploaded a few segments and that's all you're just going to continue to use, then do that. You, you can do that. And if you have a platform where you've interviewed just guests and you just want to continuously use that, then use it, all right? You have to decide and determine what's going to work best for your business, but you want to make sure, again, that if you only have a solo one, you want something that does have some guests. If you only have a guest type of uh, podcast, you want to make sure that you have some other podcast or something you're doing within that podcast um, platform where you are showcasing yourself and demonstrating your authority. I can't emphasize that enough. Now, I have other extensive trainings, you know, around this particular aspect. And I also have other trainings for different levels 
of podcasting for some of you if you're interested in doing client only types of podcasts or interested in learning about brand casting um, or interested in learning about production entrepreneurship um, then you'll find in the description that there are a plethora of different products and opportunities um, for you to avail yourself to to skill yourself up in you know in multiple ways but I just wanted to share this mini masterclass, you know, with you so that again, you can be aware and you can start thinking in terms of, hmm, how can I, you know, start to work and play from both sides of the track and make it very um, beneficial and profitable for my business initiatives. So again, this is just a mini masterclass. And my encouragement to you is to Block out a, a 30 days, so to speak, to really uh, plan this out for yourself. And doesn't mean you have to wait till 30 days is over to start executing. No, you execute now, but you at least need to create a 30-day plan to start exploring and playing around with different platforms or sort of planning how you want to do this, how you want to introduce this. Um, and so again, give yourself at least the 30 days Um to do some experimenting. Now, of course, once you jump in, you may need more time and that's okay, but at least set yourself up to give yourself the 30 days at least to start preparing for, you know, this next level. So there's tons more that I could share uh, about um, not just the benefits of this um, but also getting into more of the business empire building around it. But that's not what this uh, mini masterclass is um, designed for. So again, my empowerment and encouragement to you is to create the 30-day sort of master game plan and then start to implement and execute uh, accordingly and just think about what it is that you really feel guided to do at this time. It's always going to be about alignment some of you are hearing this now and you feel like, this is what I've been waiting on. I'm jumping into it tomorrow. And some of you are like, this is what I'm preparing for, for the next season. So I'm going to go ahead and over 30 days, make sure I have my platforms in place, make sure I've planned out my quote unquote syllabus, so to speak. Um, and then I'm going to incorporate this into the next phase of what I'm going to do, um, you know, at, at some other point, but regardless I hope that this has been tremendously valuable um, for you. And I certainly look forward to bringing you more trainings of this nature in the near future. Of course, join me um, for other trainings that I have, not just in this area, but uh, other areas as well. But I hope, again, this has been beneficial and valuable. And um, wishing you the absolute best. Take care and stay blessed.